Hello. Hello and welcome in to Tammy Loves Vintage. I wanted to share with you all of the things that I found at the Springfield, Ohio Antique. Um, we always call it the Antique Extravaganza, but they're calling it the Springfield, uh, Ohio Antique Market and no, Antique Show and Flea Market. Springfield, Ohio Antique Show and Flea Market. That's what they're calling it officially. Um, so I've had it wrong every time. I always call it the Springfield uh, Antique Extravaganza. Either way, it was a big bang of a show and it was super fun and I um, had the best time except of the heat, but there's nothing they could do about that. Um, they did turn on air conditioning in the, um, the main building. Um, there's like three buildings connected, so we were able to go in there and have lunch um, out of the heat, which helped a lot. And then we found a couple shady spots to stop in and we would linger in some of the tents that had fans and uh, we lived through it all and it was a terrific two days and I, um, I'm so glad we went and I look forward to going again in the spring. So and they have it every month if anyone is interested in checking it out. They have it every month. You'd have to look it up online, um, the Springfield Antique um, Show and Flea Market and you can get the dates and times and all of that but um we usually just go for the extravaganzas which as i'm getting older i'm thinking i may have to go in the in the off months when it's not quite so huge because it's a lot so eventually someday before i'm in a scooter <laughs> i will be for sure uh, probably having to cut it down a little bit. Not, not for a while. I got a few more years left in me. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, welcome in. I want to get started and show you all of the treasures that I found. Um, it was a huge, huge two day, um, sale. It's going on still today, but we've only just go for two days. So I'm just going to start. I have bags and bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags here to unload. So jump in, jump out, whatever you need to do. Um, you're busy, I get it. But I know so many people were anxious to see what I picked up. So at the, um, on one of the videos, I did three where we walked through together. And um, one of those was our fancy guy that's um, a little pricier, but his things are just amazing. They remind us of being at the Zor antique show. Um, Zor, Ohio, I share that with you guys all of the time. Like his stuff is just over the top amazing. And so I want to show you what I picked up from him. Um, I found these after I signed off. Julie spotted them actually. And it's a stack of Ohio tags. And I got several of them. Um, and I'm super excited about these. Just to add to some of my project, I told Julie I could give her a couple of them, but um, it was $40 for these tags. I picked up this um, cutout, but what I love about it is it is um, dated and the writing on it, I can't make out the name. Um, it looks like L L Y E O N E W E G or Z. And it's, let me flip the camera and let you guys take a look and see what you think. Can you screenshot that? Tell me what you think that says. 1836, 1834, I'm not sure. She was $60 and I'll have to find a frame for her, but she's absolutely, uh, amazing. So I'll flip you back just because it's odd to do that. But she was a little expensive for sure for a piece of cardboard, but it's all looks like pencil drawing um, or at least hand. Now, now that I look, it looks like she's been cut out. Um, I'll, well, let's just look. I'm going to open it anyway. Um, you know, this, you have to buy yourself some treasures and she is a treasure. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so she's black paper underneath and she's been cut out and then over top, all of this is all pencil done. So it's kind of a combination. And like I said, he's got good stuff. If I pop it 
off of here. Oh, he's got it mounted, so I'll have to cut it back or take it to a framer once I find the perfect frame for it. Um, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So I'm super thrilled with that. Let me put it back in here just so I don't um, scratch it up or whatever. So sorry to start out with that. That's what I came to. And then, uh, oops. And then, um, let's see, what is next? I need to put this where I won't lose it. And then I bought the jar of clock faces. So I need to go through and count them. It was $125. He said there were a hundred. I took it into the hotel room and we were kind of, we didn't undo it, but we were kind of like counting around. I don't think there's quite that many, but it's, it's awesome anyway. So I'm excited to be able to share that with some of the girls in the group. Um, okay. Let's just finish cleaning out the cart. I started to unload my cart and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do it with you guys. Oh, okay. My, remember the Ironstone guy? This is all that I bought from him. Um, but I love it. Um, yeah, the clock faces are awesome. And it is marked, it says uh, Homer Laughlin Hudson uh, on the bottom. So I always love when it's marked. But I thought, you remember the big white one that I got last year? Um, or I think I got it. Yeah, I think I got it last year. Anyway, I thought this would sit beside of my big white one. Um, I'll take a picture and show you guys, or maybe we'll do a live. I don't know. And then there was the um, the French booth that I was telling you about. They had this. Um, it was only $15, and I got it because, obviously, it's very old. But I've been really – that Jimmy Swift was having me do the veil over top of pictures and stuff. And then it also had a lot of flowers, but it's very, it's very bad condition, but look how much you get. And I love the bad condition. Like that doesn't stop me one bit. If anything, it makes it even better so that I don't have to distress it. It's all real and all done. But when you're adding it to journals and things and kind of want it a little haphazard, the rips and things are great. So I think the price was awesome. And um, she's the French ladies that I... Um, have talked about before. Um, if you follow Deb and Danelle, I know I told you guys to follow them. They um, bought two chandeliers from her actually. So they were in her booth as well, which was cool. Okay. Now things are just thrown in here and they're thrown in the bag. So it's going to be, you know, how it, how it is, but I got a doorknob um, for the tops of bottles and I got a door stopper. Now the rubber's been pushed in, but I love that it was white. So I got a door stopper again for the tops of our old bottle, um, creations like this, you know, something like this. And then we would put this in the top, you see, or we would add an old doorknob and, and gold it out or whatever, um, make it a little better. Um, so that was my thinking on those. And I did get several things like that. Let's see, what's this? Oh, I got this bottle. I thought this bottle was really great. It had a lot of surface. And the guy was telling me he dug it out of a dump. And um, I need to clean it up, of course. But I loved the surface of it for us to do either a reverse decoupage or something on it. Um, I thought it was a great, um, a great surface. Uh, let's see. So I have a bag full of stuff. So I got another doorknob. Love the shape of that. Love the patina on this one. Look at the color. Like this is what you try to faux finish and get that look. And this is all naturally done. Absolutely love this one. This one was really, really pretty. And I thought it would go really well with um, the gold, uh, like gold rub and buff put over top. It kind of has a bronzy and I can't read the price. Uh, and then this one, I just love, I think you guys were with me in one of the videos. I love that one for an amber bottle. If I find, I bought a couple amber bottles. I'm not sure they're the right size for that, but, um, I got this finial. It's not awesome, but it's okay. I love this one. This one was a favorite. Probably the white that gets me. And then I bought a bunch of these, um, oops, let's see, $4.00. Um, $2. They're all different. Uh, door, door plates. And you guys know from my crafting what all we can do with those. 
Uh, let's see, those that follow me anyway. And these are empty baggies. Hmm. Okay, don't know what was in there. Probably from the bag that they put them in. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I, oh, this was that little doily that I picked up from that lady. It was $5, and then I think she charged me $2 for the bow, but I loved the bow. I thought it was beautiful. You guys are with me on that one, too. Gee whiz. Um, probably why the stuff is still in the bag. I didn't unload the, um, the last stuff, so let's just see. You guys might have already seen, seen all of this. Oh, dig in here. Okay. Uh, love that. That was perfect size. Grab this. Just the bigger ones, mm, but those were the more, more plentiful ones. But here's an amber bottle. So again, a great top. It'll have to be painted out, of course. And this doorknob doesn't fit very well, but you can see like the amber with the amber. I think it's going to be fantastic. I just have to get the right bottle, but you can see the color. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, so I got glass buttons, a card. I got another pretty card. I'll have to sew a button on that. Actually, Julie gave me that one. And then she gave me this one. She had found some and grabbed them. Um, and then I loved, look at her. Isn't she pretty? I thought she was so pretty. So I'll be able to use her in something, somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Guys all with me? Are you all like, what the heck? Or are you with me? Are you with me? Give me some hearts if you're with me. <laughs> if you're not, I totally get it. I know I buy weird stuff. Um, totally like eclectic stuff. This one is, I think you were with me too when I bought this. It was the really heavy, brassy uh, fishing reel. Some of you are with me. I'm seeing some hearts. Okay, good, 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 good. We'll keep a, we'll keep a rolling then for sure. Um, so this is weird too, but I had a vision for these. Um, these little furry kind of fuzzy deer, I was picturing them on winter and Christmas tins. Uh, I don't remember if I bought a tin or not. Oh, I did buy some blue tins. I do remember. Uh, but I thought how sweet with a Christmas tree up here and a little snow and a little greenery around them, maybe a couple bulbs, and it would be nice and neutral. So the guy had four and I bought all four. So there's that. Um, one of the nicer hats that I bought, I bought a lot of hats, wait till you see. Um, I tried to keep it cheap. This one was $14. I tried to keep them, you know, there was one hat I absolutely loved. It made me want to rethink my whole costume for the sparkle event, but it was $65. And it was at the French booth. And I mean, I tried it on. I'm like, oh, what should I do? But in the end, I decided... I'm not going to spend that much for a hat. So I didn't do it. Um, I did ask her for her best price and she said it was $65 and she said $50. And I said, thank you for not saying 40. <laughs> Cause if she had said 40, I would have bought it. She's like, Oh no, she said, I can't go that low. And I'm like, I totally get it. I'm just saying sometimes when you have a number in your mind and they hit it, you, you kind of got to get it. You just, that's just like a sign. Here's your sign. Um, it happened. But this one, look at all of the velvet leaves I'm going to have to work with. And even the little pods are velvet. And it's beautiful. Um, it's got, look at the netting I'll be able to use. It's a great shade of green plus the green bow. This one was uh, probably my favorite hat that I can remember. I did get a lot of hats. So you guys will have to, um, you guys will have to um, be the judge for yourself. This is all jewelry and buttons. If we have time, if we still have people. Oh, I have a hundred people. Um, wow, you guys really want to see what I bought. That's crazy. Uh, so if you're if I still have, you know, some people, I'll show you all of that, even if I just lay it all out and put the camera down. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, okay, let's get this out of the way. I did, I I kind of tried while I was waiting to go live. I tried to incorporate all of my um, doilies and things. So this is all the doilies and stuff that I bought for the girls in the group for our auctions coming up. Plus, I've already been out and about buying. So I'll have lots of um, doilies for you guys. 
So in case you're like, why didn't you buy them all when we were at that lady's booth? That's why I had already bought a lot from several booths. Uh, the green, it is, it is such a great shade. Um, put it on. <laughs> okay. I'll look like a Christmas. I don't, let's see. Is this the, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I could totally wear that to the sparkle event, I suppose. I don't know. Kind of crownish looking. I don't know. Uh, here's another great one that I got, and I don't remember the prices on these. And she's, oh, this is like a hook. Don't want that. Um, I don't know how much I paid for most of these. Uh, that one still had the tag on it. But I know they, I try to stay under $10 on the hats. Um, but this one had a lot of velvet. They're not all velvet, but it had a ton of velvet flowers. So I got that one. That's probably second favorite. And then I got this little floppy thing only because look at the netting with the dots in it. Like I love the dots just for an extra added detail. So love, 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 love this one. And, um, there you go. <laughs> so I love that too, but I, of course I'm not going to wear them. They're all strictly for crafting. So, um, there you go. Okay. So let's see. Let's see this one. And, oh, oh, I'm so thrilled, thrilled beyond thrilled about these books for you girls. I bought them all only because they weren't going to be super heavy, just small little snips of um, German pages for you. Uh, lots of writing, some pictures, different kinds of fonts, looks large and small. Oh, you probably can't see. Um, some ads and um, they're just everything in their 1800s. 1890, 1895. Look at this Christmas one. They're amazing. Um, this one, the cover's gone, so I don't know. 1888, 1899, 1880. Oh, this is probably the cover for that one. I'm not sure, but we'll see. 1883, 1892, 1896, 1894, 93, 1899, 1897, 1892, 1891, 1886, 1888, and 1883, and 1897. So I got all of these um, for um, to put in the auction as well in our group. So those were like, wow, right? That was a, a shaking, uh, Wow. <laughs> and then the flinch cards, I have bought them over the years and I have one set that's extra, extra nice. I see a lot of girls crafting with them. Flinch is kind of extra special for me. I always played flinch with my grandma, uh, my dad's mom. And we play every time you guys have heard me talk about her stooping over, you hear, I've I know I've said it before. Um, she would say, oh, honey, grandma can't stoop down. I'm like, grandma, you know, come on. And I'd have them all out ready to go on the floor. And bless her heart, she would do it. Now I'm grandma. And I'm like, oh, honey, <laughs> I'm sure I got stooped down. <laughs> she, <laughs> so it's just funny how I remember her saying stoop that she couldn't stoop down. I thought it was funny. But anyway, they're great little black and white um, numbered cards. And it's a great way to teach your kids how to count. And I always, I mean, it's very easy. You count up, I believe it's to 15. And um, you flip them, you flip them over. Um, like you lay them out. I forget. Uh, I forget. You, if you can't play on a card, you just, I'll have to play flinch. We'll do that sometime. I'll play flinch with you guys. And you can see, I, you can't play, but you can watch me play by myself and I can teach you how to do it if you happen to have the cards or have a little one that you want to teach to count. It was a super fun game. I will put that, um, see, I have, oh, right here. I got my order for the jewelry, so I was going to do a video on that too. It was here. I just opened it while I was waiting to go live with you guys. Um, okay, nothing else in there. And then I had three more little German books. Um, 1879, a Christmas one. Uh, it doesn't say, it does say 991. Oh, that's the address, Cleveland, Ohio. Very cool, but it's a Christmas um, edition. And then there's this one. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I hate to hold you all up. But anyway, great little books, um, little German books that I found. Uh, okay, that's all in there. This, I'm going to show you this. This was the one thing that gave me goosebumps. Like, I opened, or I saw it. Oops, I just dropped a nail out of the back. I saw it, and I died. Um, <laughs> I didn't die, but I'm like, holy cannoli. So let me flip you around. Oh, no, there's my ceiling. You don't need to see my ceiling. Sorry. <laughs> flip the right. I didn't mean to flip you around. I meant to flip you that way. So you can read um, right there, and it's Buckeye Lake. And you know, I've been buying a few things about Buckeye Lake antique wise. So um, it's just a lot of people um, for, it is the Bremen, Ohio, um, let's see, the Bremen Auto Club Annual Picnic Buckeye Lake. And there's a band, they have a band and it, they have cars in the background. Um, there's a couple of houses with a car. The guy that sold it to me was all about the cars. He said he'd had another one. I hate that light shining on y'all. Uh, there you can see some of the cars. There's a car. He was all about the cars. He said he had another one from the same like picnic or whatever it was. And um, anyway, he said this one was nicer and it is this tall. <laughs> it is pretty it's pretty tall, so it'll go really well with my other Buckeye Lake pictures. So um, I'm pretty, I was pretty excited about that. I showed Julie, um, I went back and she's like, where were you? And I said, we were at this booth um, and it was all like, uh, was it records? I think it was music, like old records and music I don't know it was something that we really weren't interested in and we we ran through and and as I came around the table I went I was like headed to the next guy and I was going up the outside of that guy's booth and in between he had two big flags hanging and in between the flags the the yard loan caught my eye and it was people and Julie loves people and I went and looked at it and when I saw Buckeye Lake I'm like I, I had to get it because uh I have Buckeye Lake stuff and I live Buckeye Lake is like a half hour from me we have friends that live there love to have a house there someday so I just all the things all the reasons um I had to have it so and he was he was happy that I'd even heard of it and he's like most people don't even know where it is so anyway there you go and it, it, so I showed her and she's like oh my god and she's like I have boost goosebumps I'm like sorry I still do it was so funny she wasn't very far ahead of me but Anyway, I've got this little green hat. It was only $2, but again, it's just the, the netting will be great. Um, and then the little velvet bow. And I don't know if I can get the velvet off of this or not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, probably not. But even if I could, I could just cut a few leaves out for me to use. So um, grab that one. Grab this little, oh, it's got the little combs in it, huh? <laughs> The little combs that hold it to her hair this little hat but again i bought it for the netting i'm really getting into the netting stuff i love it um i love it for a texture that's not heavy um it's just an interesting texture now this hat is a crappy piece of crap but i love it because these flowers are my colors and they're gonna look amazing on my projects like just absolutely amazing just the neutrals and look how many and I absolutely love it. And I can't remember how much it was, but I know it wasn't over $20. But I absolutely, again, another favorite for a different reason. But love the old hats. Okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay. Oh, okay. So I was picturing this, like the side of using this ruffle as the edge of a, so cut it. And using the ruffle as the outside of a book. Like, here's Cheryl's book right here I, I haven't touched it since i got home um and running it let's see can, yeah you can see me and so running it kind of like the length of a book you see like that and then having the the flap like hang out <laughs> i don't know and then the sash part was beautiful for a tie so i grabbed that and that was my thinking 
Uh, and then let's see. Oh, I loved this velvet ribbon on this one. Um, not a ton of it, but I loved it um, to maybe be able to use for something. And then this one had a little bit of gems on there sewn on. And so it's just a, it's a cutter ripper piece, but, and the same with this, it's a cutter ripper, but I liked it. I like the little dot, um, well, the little dotted detail, not sure you can see. Hmm. You really can't, you guys can't see it. Yeah, you can, there's the little dots on it. I loved that. And I love the fact that it was so thin, like it is super thin. So it'll be easy, like here it's ripped. So in your, look how easy it's gonna rip. But in your projects, just a little piece, you know, kind of tattered like that, and you put a button over it. Um, I need a button with the string in it. Well, I really wanted a bigger one. Here's a little bit bigger. Um, anyway, you know, something like that stuck down either on your bottles or your books or your journals or whatever. And it's nice and thin. So I love that. So I got that. Here's another piece of something. And again, the same thing with the, um, with the ruffle for hanging out of a page or whatever. I think that's great. So got that. Let's see. And then we got more hats. I hit the hat jackpot. <laughs> I hit the hat jackpot for sure. Um, this one had little flowers. They're not velvet, um, but they're definitely vintage. They were all in, this guy is all were in bags, so they are all pristine condition. So I got a hat and I grabbed this hat. Of course, I had them all before that really good one, but I thought I could use these. I probably will spray a little stain on them just to, because they're too clean, they're too perfect, but I think I can get these flowers off of here. I hope I can. I didn't even, of course, of course I didn't try while I was at the show, but um, they should peel up. They should peel up. I may have to work on them, but I'll get them up. Yeah, I'll get them up. They're not going to pop off easy, but they'll come. Loved this one. I've been doing a lot in these blues, and so I loved this one with the blue um, kind of leaves. They're kind of like leaves, but when I add my flowers with them, I think they'll be great. And then again, a little bit of netting to match, so that'll be great for projects. Okay, and this headband, I was iffy on it, but I love the little flowers, and again, they're velvet, so I had to have it. And then Julie was even like, why couldn't we cut this off of here or even cut the band and even incorporate some of this, you know, fluff. It's a little stiff, so I don't know exactly what I can do with it, but I know for sure I can use the little yellow flowers. So I grabbed that one. Um, and then I grabbed this one kind of silly, but it had some netting and it did have some flowers that were neutral. The leaves, uh, I'm not so crazy about, but I bet I can use them. They're wired and um, you could even paint them to be your color. And then it did have a beautiful green bow on the back that was velvet. So I grabbed it too. Um, I grabbed this giant finial because the my headboard, you guys won't remember this, but I, when um, years ago, a friend of Randy's gave us a, um, a big architectural thing and um, Doug that used to paint with me made it into a headboard. He like filled it out and then I did crackle and waxing and all of that and um, I put a smaller finial and I had to go to, I went to Lowe's or something and bought a piece and then put a doorknob on top of it, trying to make something like this. So I was so thrilled. When I saw it, I thought, oh my God, my headboard. And Julie's like, what do you mean? I said, the middle of my headboard. She, like, she didn't get it, but she's never upstairs. You know, my room is upstairs. I see her room because it's on the main floor. But for me, everybody has to go upstairs so no one really sees my bedroom but me. Um, another doorknob. Another doorknob, but I love the little, like, see, it's little. It's a little one, so that'll be great for a little bottle. And then I love the patina, again, on this one as well. It's got that kind of turquoise color, so love that. And then I got this little glass bottle top, so it'll be great in a bottle as well, too. Um, it almost fits that one, but, you know, we'll have to, I wish it was better, but I love that it's a leaf or a feather, a leaf or a feather, I don't even know. 
but it's an old perfume bottle top, but I thought it would be perfect to put back on a bottle. So, okay, everybody still, we keep going? We'll keep going if we lost people. Oh, we gained people. Good Lord, good Lord. Okay, we're gonna keep rolling then. from the antique mall. This is our least we ever bought at the antique mall. Julie and I either one, but I think we were just so heat exhausted. We were done, 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 done. But we did go to the Springfield Antique Mall. It's the largest antique mall. Um, they say in the country, I don't know, but I got a bunch of these um, uh, cash register tags. And then I have more um, that I found at the show. So you guys, finally, I can get you guys more. It's been a long time since I've found cash register tags. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I know what this is. I got a project. I thought this would be fun. Um, I think this is going to be a fun one. Uh, I was trying to take it apart while I was standing in line. Where? Oh, my scissors are in my bag from the show. Well, I don't want to take this string off of here because it's distracting. But I'm, okay. So I saw this little lamp, this little old lamp. And I thought, it's so beautiful, but I don't know what to do with it. And then I started messing around with it, waiting in line. And look, it's going to come apart. And I'll be able to, like, all of this is going to slide. This is probably clamped down, so I've got to get this off. But then all of these little pieces are in here that I can, I mean, like, look how pretty this little, all of these pieces are great if I can't figure out something to do with the stand. So if you have a great idea, message me. <laughs> but we were thinking of um, maybe using another lamp part and attaching it to the top, like a bigger lamp part and put a pumpkin on it or, um, you know, an Easter egg if I can't figure it out, or my thought, that was Julie's, my thought was, uh, I was just going to see, oh, I got that off, I didn't need that, so we're down to here, I don't know, anyway, um, I could turn it into a lamp again, of course, but I don't want to do that, I want to be cooler than that right so then my other thought my thought when I first saw it was to do like styrofoam some styrofoam and doing like a flower arrangement um having it like trail down and wisp out and all of that so we'll see I don't know it was something to play with it was $15 so I thought well that wasn't a bad price we picked up some Christmas here and there I got this I really wanted this little snowman, um, had to take her with, they all came together. So I'll be having some things in the sale. And then I just snagged these. I have a whole drawer full of Santas. That's what Julie's like, we, we don't really need Santas, but I grabbed a couple, just a few. I know you guys like Christmas. My followers like Christmas too. Um, this, <laughs> I have a plan. I have a plan. I wish it was bigger. I wish it was about that big. I'm going to guess 12 inches. I wish it was like 18 inches, but, um, it's going to be in my group. I'm freaking so excited. I think it's going to be one of the neatest things I've ever made and I'm excited to make it in there. So, uh, I'll show you guys when it's finished. I'll post pictures for you or hold it up in a live or something like that. Um, oh, here's a little one. We can just use this little bag, although it's pretty crammed full. You guys, want me to keep going? Yeah, you're still here. Okay. If you're still watching. I'll keep going. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Okay. Here we go. All right. Uh, jackpot on the finials. I found more. Some were busted, but the bottom's busted. Uh, but I think I can break that off. I think I might need, I might need these, um, might need this right here. Let's just see if we can do it. I have to chip away. Yeah, I, I can do it, but I'm going to have to chip away at it. It looks like, hmm, cause they're only, they're not very deep, but yeah, it's going to work just fine. Yay. I'm so glad I got it. I didn't think I could get it off. And then I thought, I bet I could break that off. And, um, 
Yeah, looky there. There, now that ought to fit down in a, a bottle in that aisle, not this one, it's small. But yeah, great, love it. That was good news. Uh, that goes with those little bottles. Okay, I bought this bottle only, be, again, because of the surface. It was an old powder bottle, but again, it's got a nice big surface and a little unusual hourglass shape. So um, the crack doesn't really bother me because I'm gonna I cover it up anyway when I do my bottles. So, um, anyway, I started to show you all the finials and then I got distracted. So here's some. And then I found, love this little guy, love that. And that so that'll be great. And look at that, oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. I'm going to put that aside and show you later because I have a reason for that. Um, I found this. Love that. Heavy brass. Um, this is more jewelry, it looks like. And a bunch of hearts. This is more jewelry. Um, I'm going to show you these real quick. They're just a bunch of little hearts. There was oh wait there's more that there's there's another one and there was another little puffy silver one where are you I don't know and look at this little tiny bow love the little bow the little bow was six dollars but I loved it I loved it uh let me see I thought these had potential for a black bottle. They are, are they buttons or earrings? Let me see, they're buttons or earrings, I don't even know. Or button covers, oh, they're earrings, old earrings. But I think like, um, you know, if you do your black tool and do the top up black, oh, that's a terrible example, but I just picture them for bottle. I promise it'll be fabulous. Uh, I got three little, uh, plastic snow people snowmen um loved this card with the purple buttons um and these this is a little bit bright of a green for me but um i don't know julie even said you probably ought to get that so i did um let's see what do we have just more like when i'm out looking i'm looking for crusty yucky crusty stuff um, you know, the diamonds do not be so sparkly and tired, you know, look, that's the look, that's the vintage antique kind of look. So that's what I look for. Um, uh, that one. Okay. I'll put that away. All right. Let's keep, oh, and then, oh, what's in here? Something's in here. Oh, another Santa. Eh, eh not exciting. Um, you know, when you spend two days looking for Christmas stuff, you, and you don't, everything you find either too expensive or not like super amazing, you tend to not, um, not want to buy it. So then you just buy something because you want to buy something. <laughs> so I bought this whole bag of little bottles. They're just little tiny, but I've been adding these to some of my projects like this behind me. I don't have one on here, but you know, to put a little bottle with some flowers coming out of it is a really nice addition to some of your assemblages, I think. So um, the guy had this whole bag of bottles, so I bought those. Um, okay, here we go. We got three more bags full, and then that'll be it. Um, and they're full, so. <laughs> Snuggle in, girls. We're gonna be here a while. Uh, oh, three little Christmas trees. So I did, and I, she put them in that bag so I could keep track of them. But I love like the st how the bottoms faded out. Like they're very old. And another nice thing to look for is the wood base. You always know some of the older tree, well, all of the older trees are on wood. The newer ones are on plastic. So don't let them get you. Okay, make sure they're on wood. Um, uh, they were $6 each. Um, I bought a hat, I bought a fur hat 
unsure if I had white strips of fur, like not white, but this color. I think most of my fur is all really dark. So this, when you buy it in the little strips, typically it comes off pretty easy. This is not coming off easy. Typically you can pull the bands off. Well, if I take my time, I can get it pretty easily. And this, so I bought this to tear up, don't be sad. Um, there's lots of fur hats out there, you guys. But for, we do our cotton spun um, stuff. I've done cotton spun. Go to my YouTube channel, type in cotton spun. You can watch the videos all day long. Um, I teach you guys how to make Santas and Easter, but like all kinds of things. But anyway, so this is a terrible example, but the fur collar, like you can't beat that for a Santa collar or like down the, the lapel of his shirt or around his boots. You know, that's just fabulous. You can't beat it. And they're cut in nice little strips already done. If you buy, like I bought, um, you know, pelt, lamp, uh, not lamp, uh, uh, rabbit pelts before to get the fur. And when you cut it, it's just, the fur is everywhere and it hurts your heart and it's just a lot. So when you can find the hats like these where they are little strips, um, I have tons. I mean, I can, I have not tons, but I have several, um, you know, like see, but see how much darker it is. It's a lot darker. And then I have even darker ones there in my drawer. But, um, so you always want to watch for those. Let's see, this hat was 20, so oh, it was $26 half off. So it was $13. I was going to say, whoa, I didn't pay $26. I didn't, don't worry. Didn't think so. Oh, I picked up some quilt squares and some quilt pieces, these little um, pieces of fabric that she was going to put in her quilt and didn't, I guess, I don't know. Um, it started, uh, and then these just look like little pieces that are cut and ready to roll, and she didn't do it, but I thought, what a great little piece of fabric already ready to tuck in if you needed a little color in a project. So I picked those up. Again, nothing to be super excited about until I get ready to do a project and then I'll be like, ooh, look, and I'll be so happy. <laughs> right now, it's like, meh, whatever. I got them, but whatever. Um, okay, let's see what this is. Oh, I got some pins. And I picked up this little heart. And some little, um, you know, little bags of buttons. Little bags of buttons. More bags of buttons. I get them when they're already um, they're already sorted out, so I don't have to sort. So, kind of like that. Little black buttons. Big buttons. Um, this one's got a little bit of gem, a little something shiny in there. So that's cool. And then more mother of pearl buttons. You know I don't really need buttons, but. Um, and then it feels like this is books. So the first day one, I bought books. Oh my gosh, did I buy books. Those other ones were day two, but day one, wow, I bought books. These were French. Um, I don't have French. So this is, um, oh, let me, uh, let me flip you around here. Oops, that's not the right, there we go. Almost lost you. There we go, okay. So this was a French book um, and it's all French writing inside and I love the stained pages like I don't have to do anything to them I just can use use the pages um, I don't know how old it is let's see uh, if I can read hmm, not fast I can't read it quickly let's see oh 1882 Huh. 1882. This one was French also. Yes. And it was 1881. Um, just more, you know, French stained. Um, I always watch Michelle at the Vintage Day. Oh, this is just a book jacket. I don't know how that got in there. Oh, it's the cover for this one. Okay. That's the cover for this one. Kind of falling apart. Uh, 1883. So there's some books. Um, okay, this? This? This bag 
this empty. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is, oh wait, I lost you. Let me flip you back. Oh gosh, my glasses. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you still here? Oh yeah, you're still here. Wow, you guys, a bunch of you. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Wow. This was, this was the guy from Maine. Um. Remember me in one of the videos? If you all, well, I'm gonna sit down. If you guys saw me, um, when I was, uh, we were leaving on Friday night. The guy from Maine. He's on a corner. Um. I didn't take you in his booth. It's great. Uh. But she had glass buttons. This is a bag of glass buttons. So I thought, I know I've sold all my white glass buttons, but this was so awesome. And I thought I'll make a white button garland. Um, let's see. Since they're already sorted and I don't have to sort them. Um, like, where's my, here's, okay, I did a black glass button garland forever ago. Um, and I thought I would do a white button garland. And then I just kind of drape it in my decor. So, oh, that looks terrible, but, <laughs> oh, well. and then, um, this whole bag was mother of pearl. So I'll just dump no strings. I hate when the people take the time to cut the strings out they think they're going to get more money for it. I'm like, quick, cut your strings. And then there's more glass in here and more mother of pearl and just some basic, basic buttons. So, um, this was $50. So I don't know how I did, but I got them. I don't know. I don't know how I did. And I got this too. This, did I get this from her? I might have. I don't know. It was in the same bag, but I'm, I don't remember buying this from her. But I might have. Um, just some little lace. I love these little, little pieces like that. Like that. Like they're great with a button in the middle. Um, like look, they're so great for doing your books and stuff. That's beautiful. So a little, a little bit of lace there. Okay. Oh gosh, this is a whole bunch of little junk. I take up all the room on my desk. Oh, yay. Okay. So I bought this little, I love that. It's um, marked, let's see, what does it say? Warwick, China, Dakota. But it's black and white and it was $9. It's ironstone. It's real thick. You can see it's definitely ironstone. That's the best giveaway for ironstone is that it's thick. Like that white vase that I got, wherever it's buried, wherever it's at, is not true ironstone because it's so thin. But it has the look if you put it with a bunch. Um, it has the look. So I bought this finial and this finial too. We were on a, on the way up, we were like, what are we looking for? I love this little guy. I love this little guy. Um... Love that. Um, I bought a bunch of these. Uh, oh, more finials. More and more and more and more and more. So yeah, I should reap. I should be able to replenish my finial box. I know I sold a bunch of them to you girls at my um, last few sales. Always look for little dice. Um, tiny, tiny, but this was all that I found this trip. But I did find some in my color. And then I found more of the boggle uh, letters that go in the bottom of my cabinet. I'm still trying to get it completely full. So, oops, there's another one. So I got some more boggle things. You guys have probably seen. If not, it's probably time for me to do a little tour of my house again. Um, a lot of you were asking about my uh, fall mantle. And I know I've posted pictures, but not everyone sees everything. And I, it's I forget that. I forget that sometimes. So I got this little thing. Um, you guys remember the sister's booth that I took you to? Uh, it was $5 and I had to get it. It's freestanding. Um, and it'll go with my clock collection that I have at the little house. It'll be perfect for the clock collection. I've never seen anything like it. So I grabbed that. Love that. That's a good treasure for me. And then I found these really neat... Um, little pans, but I love the patina on them. And I loved these. He made me buy them all, which is fine. The little hearts are awesome. They all have a great patina. A lot of times they're very silver, but these are marked made in Germany. So they're anything Germany for some reason seems to be like amazing. Like Germany has it going on, um, as far as quality in, um, 
a lot of the things you just pay attention when you're looking but i'm going back to victorian stuff um the hand-painted ladies and the um the perfumes german if they're marked japan they're just not quite as detailed and as nice as something made in germany so when it says made in germany it might be a little more expensive as you're scrolling on etsy or whatever if you're shopping and it's maybe more than you thought it should be when you have a number in your head and they tell you what it is and if you flip it over and see it's made in germany it just means it's a little extra extra special so um anyway so i thought these would be great to do our ornaments in because i've never done them in this shape before we'll see if i have things tiny enough in my Christmas stash, I don't know. But I know I've got little pumpkins. Maybe I could do a little fall scene in one of them with the bale of hay and the little pumpkins. That might be fun. Maybe we'll do that in the group because that would be something I've never done and never seen before. It just, the idea just hit me, girls. So, okay, oh my gosh. Two more bags, but that one bag has a lot of books in it, but still, we got two more bags. <sighs> Everyone exhausted and you're just sitting here watching. Imagine walking around <laughs> in the heat. Uh, okay, so a couple more hats. I was thinking Christmas, red velvet bow, red tulle. I'll throw the hat part away. I don't know what I could ever do with the hat parts, but I just buy them for the tulle and the netting, or the netting and the bows. This one had two bows on it. So... I'm going to I'm gonna have to tear some apart because the hats take up a lot of room in your workspace. Um, so, okay, here's, here's the tin. Um, I bought, no, I bought two of them. Julie bought one. Uh, let's see, the other tin should be in here. Well, we'll come across it. What did I want? Oh, I was going to show you the deer. Okay, I wonder what I did with them. <laughs> well... You'll just have to imagine. You'll have to imagine because I don't know what I did with them. Shoot, they're buried. I'm sure. Oh, I see one. It's buried, but I see it. So this was my vision. Of course, not on a blue box but or on a blue tin. But see how well it sits and do a Christmas tin out of it? And they're furry. Like the deer are furry and spotted. So exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to do those. So there you go. I got two of those tins. Um, I got a bag of stuff. It was like a whole bag. Let's see. I don't throw away my Ziplocs. Uh, okay. So let's see what it is because I didn't even look. I don't even know what I got. Eh, not really anything great. Not really anything great. The bows are great though. The bows are great. I have no idea. These are bottoms of shoes. Mm, I don't want those. But they are leather on the bottom. I'm not going to throw them out. But I'll probably put them in the sale with other things. Let's see. Somebody might want. Somebody needs makes shoes or needs or has an idea for these little leather bottoms of shoes. Let me know. I've got them. So and I don't want them. Uh, oh, this is great. Again, netting. Um, yay! I just saw a lot of this really dainty stuff in that bag, so I snapped it. I snagged it. Um, this is very pretty. Uh, this is a baby bib. Nah. Now this is a baby bib. This will be cute on a book. Uh, on a book too. Um, beautiful. Yay! Did good. And then this hat. Hmm. Oh, actually. Oh, it's wrong side out. Okay. Actually, yeah. Look at the dots. Of course, you know me. I love the dots. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Yay. Okay, that was fun. All right, there's another stuffy. Let's put that together. I am truly running out. So, all right, I'm going to wait. I got, I am waiting on something. When I find it, I'll tell you. Oh, I forgot about these. I got more for you guys. These, this was a cool find. And I left it in the box just so they didn't get bent. Um, but these are all cut out, uh, postmarks, little teeny tinies. They're not cut very well, but they're cut enough that I can finish cutting them. But, um, all cities, all state or all states, um, cities and all dates, all colors. I just thought it was a fantastic box of little things. 
um, and I'm seeing them added on with our creations on our books or um, whatever projects, I don't even know. But anyway, so I grabbed that box. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at your comments. I'm, I will. Uh, I got a couple of wheels, really heavy metal wheels, super heavy, super crusty, rusty, but I love the size. Um, loved these big flowers on this piece of tool. And again, there's a little bit of those dots, not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's another. Oh, yeah, I was iffy on this one. Iffy, iffy. He wanted $5 and I said, I'll give you three. And he said, I'll take it. And I said, okay, I'll take it then. But it's pretty, it's a pretty color. And I thought if I'm use one of like a cream colored flower and I needed a pop of burgundy, this would be such a awesome pop of burgundy for my um, collages and stuff, my projects. So you guys can see after I get back from Springfield, I got all kinds of project ideas. Um, this is, oh gosh, a turkey, turkey foot whale oil lamp. I thought it was adorable. It was from their personal collection. And I said, are you sure you want to sell this? And she said, it's my husband's. He's cleaning out. He doesn't want stuff. And I said, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Um, but he said he would sell and that was why he had it here. And I was thinking of, um, not, not Michelle, but um, Tara, and how she, oh yes, pecan, oh my gosh, okay, this is what I had in my mind when I saw it, let's see, can we just dump the buttons in here, and just take this baby up a notch, and make it even better, let's see here, some of the buttons are too big, but Tara taught us this trick, if you want, follow her at Sweetwater Trading. She does lanterns, little, little like gas, not little, but big ones. Um, gas lantern, like lantern lanterns, oil lamps. Oil lamps is what I'm trying to spit out. Um, gosh, it's taking me longer to do this than I thought, but I'd like to give you guys some, some ideas. I never did find another pair of those scissors that I had that great idea. I watched and watched. I never found another pair as nice as that $30 pair. Probably should have bought them and done my thing and hoped I could sell them, get my money back, but because I kind of want to do it now that I had that idea in my mind. Um, I shared that in one of our videos together. Um, I would have had no idea where to go back to get them, even if I decided I want them. I wouldn't know where they were. Anyway, about got it. No, I don't. <laughs> good enough. It's good enough. You guys would get the idea. Okay, so put this back on. Put that back on. This, no. Oh, I should have paid attention to how I did that. That's not right. Well, no, there we go. That sits in there. This sits up here. And this one, this way. Okay, that looks more right. Okay. A little crook. There we go. But picture that full of buttons. How awesome is that? So your lanterns, if you're a lantern seller, go around your shows and buy some buttons. Love the white ones. Um, but yeah, and fill your your oil part with old buttons. And it's an awesome, awesome look. I'm a little crookedish, but um, you get the idea. So love, 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 love that. And if you didn't want to put a candle in, I'd probably do a battery operated with a remote. But if you didn't want to do that, you could do a little arrangement out of the top of that. It would be super cute. Um, I would kind of trail it down a little bit on the side so you would still see the buttons and still see the handle. But that's an amazing, amazing piece. Proud to own that. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is the other tin that I told you I got. So you already saw that. I thought it was beautiful. And I... I love doing the blues and I was thinking about all the blue hats that I got. So, um, that'll be fun. Um, oh, more bottles. I didn't buy a lot of bottles, but, I'm not sure. but I did pick up some, I don't want that lid. 
I don't know about that great big top, but we'll see. I did a little stumpy bottle like this with a big doorknob uh, once before, and I loved how it turned out. No, it's not a bit. Here's a, no, here's one. No, that's the little one, and this is the angled one. No, <laughs> no. Sometimes you get them with the thing still on them. I don't know. We'll have, we'll see. I can't show you that right now. It's going to be way too long of a video if I keep sharing all that. And then I bought these. I don't I bought these thinking they would be uh, maybe interesting bottle tops, but they're just old poles. Um, but see, it could be good. They could be good. You'd have to do a washer or something on them to like this little piece here. Um, if you put this on the bottle, that gives you a flat surface to glue. So you'd run your glue around here, your B7000 or E6000 adhere that, then stick something like this down in, you know, and it makes that not this, well, maybe if this part, un yeah, this part unscrews. Okay. Let's see if it fits in there. I don't know, you guys, I'm winging, yeah. Okay. And then I would need some kind of a washer or something for this very top to hold it in place, but I'd probably put it to there probably something like that um but anyway there you go there's your idea okay and if you guys are like this girl's nuts you need to follow me so that you can see i'm maybe not as nuts as you think i am i might be able to impress you and wow you there's another bottle i got that's oh there's something else in here oh yeah okay uh, all right i bought this glass wheel thing um it's a it's a brat not glass i meant to say brass wheel a clock it had a clock thing and a key in there and i had one i told julie i said i've got i've got one i've got a project and i just noticed it when i brought my stuff in i just noticed it it's right here i hooked it on the side of my old paint bucket it had a hook and i just have it hanging there on my um my olive tree. So, um, this is our olive tree. We have olive trees, uh, in our, on our website. And then we have the smaller olive tree on the website. Now I finished the, um, the, uh, container. I mod podged it, but there you go. And look at my little, I tucked a little button in that one, a little mother of pearl, um, flower button. I thought that was so cute. So that's in that one. And then, and they're nicely weighted. And I just set this down in my paint bucket with my little wool, um, little wool mouse that's sleeping. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. So when you see that kind of stuff, I guess I'm just giving you ideas. Okay. So, and then I bought this map only because it was black and white. She had a stack of maps that tall. And she said, you can have the whole stack for $5. And I said, well, I really just liked this one that was black and white. Um, my kind of my colors, right? And um, look, so I can take a little piece and get a map in there and be black and white. And it's Ohio. So I picked that up. And she charged me a dollar for one. I could have got like 30 of them for $5. She was punishing me for not buying them all. <laughs> It was fine. I'd rather give her a dollar for one than have a whole bunch of maps that I didn't want or need. Um, oh, guess what's in this bag? Okay. These shiny brights can get a little pricey. Usually, if you see a little box of them, the little ones, they're $25 for a little box. Just to give you an idea, so if you can find them cheaper, then grab them because you're getting a deal. Um, this bag was $8, so that was a pretty good deal. Um, they're not like super crazy old, but I think they're good. They're still metal on the top, like the tops of them, and I think they are very old, but they're not like worn out old. And I grabbed these. These were a dollar, um, and they're old. Like you can see through them. They're definitely vintage, um, faded and tired, which you know you can make them be that way. You can take new bulbs and get them to do this kind of look. Um, yeah. 
I'm iffy. I was iffy when I bought them, but they were a dollar and it was one of the first Christmas booths we came to. It's hard to spend that much money on that, but you know, this one here, absolutely loved. Took a deep swallow and bought it. Like a big, heavy sigh. $20, but look at them. They're amazing. All right, I covered it up, but it's 20, it was $20. It's upside down, but you can tell. Um, but awesome. So when you see sometimes the prices on some of our tins, you have to know that sometimes a tin can be $20, $15, $10, $8. You know, they're expensive. I'm looking at my tins. And, um, you know, they can be $65, $48. So when you're crafting with them, we try and buy the colors, like the orange ones for Halloween and the... Um, you know, whatever, but sometimes, like the Christmas ones mostly is where they, it all started, but, um, you know, get the right tin, get the right colors to get it in decent shape, um, and then you're adding all of this stuff and adding the little deer and the trees, you know, a tree's six dollars and up, usually they're ten dollars, um, you know, they add up and that's what we have in them. We don't, you know, that's what you got. It is what it is, so... Sometimes, you know, they're, gee whiz, and really we're breaking even and sometimes losing money just to, just to sell it so we can make another one because our joy, our joy is in making them, but I just want you all to pay attention when I tell you how much things are, you know, hear me because it really is, uh, you know, it really is expensive. Uh, okay. I bought this it was $18, but she had more of this. Remember how much I love the little dots hanging and I didn't have very much of it. So I, that I paid up for that, but I was happy, happy, happy to get it. This tatting, I don't think this was too bad. And I, oh, I got tons of tatting. But the only reason I got it was it was a little heftier, $6.50. So that wasn't bad. Um, but it's a heavier, chunkier tatting. So I thought instead of that really fine, fine, you know, when I was doing, um, Cheryl's book and I put that little teeny tiny tatting it's amazing but sometimes it's too fragile and so it was nice to have that I got these little um crocheted buttons I thought they were great um oh I got this crusty old pin it was only three dollars and fifty three dollars and fifty cents thought it said $36 there for a second, but it's old and crusty and it's exactly the kind of jewelry that I look for. Uh, okay. I picked this little deal up. I think it was six. Let's see. $6. I picked this little millinery collection up. Um, and then just a bunch of little doilies. Let's see here. This piece of lace. Uh, I liked this little satin ribbon. It was just super soft and old and tired, and I loved it. Um, what's in here? Oh, just a couple hunks of buttons on cards. Um, and then little, little pieces of doilies, little tiny doilies. That lady that I always go to, she had a bunch. Um, look, at how, look at that. So pretty. Um... Yeah, so a bunch of that little stuff. I love how she always packages it. It just makes it better, you know, <laughs> it makes it better. So there's that. And then, oh, this was $6 and 50 cents, six fifty. But I love the top and the bottom. Like, see how it's all cut glass? It's amazing. So this will go on something that I make and want to keep because, again, when you start filling things up, it just runs your prices up, and it, it gets expensive. Um, Three dollars and fifty cents. I always keep all the packing so we can reuse it. But I loved the label on that, and I love the gold. So it's very pretty. It was three dollars and fifty cents. Love that bottle. Um. Oh, I got a little bit of beaded lace. Did, she didn't have a whole lot of beaded lace. This was $8 for this little, like, a doily-looking thing. And then this one was um, $8.50. This piece with the little stuff hanging down. Um, yeah, love that. 
So there's that. And then more um, little pieces, more little, little littles, more littles, more littles. I love the littles. Can't give up the littles, they're hard to find. So, okay, um, all right, we're getting down. We're getting down there now. Loved her. She was $3.50. I hate that they put the sticker on the front. Oh, I'm curious if it's going to come off or not. Oh, came right off. Yay! I was a little nervous about that. I'm going to stick it on the back. $3.50, but look at her. She's amazing for a project. Super amazing. So I'm going to put that back in there. Keep it safe until I get her put away wherever she's going to go. So you guys, I have new flooring coming tomorrow. So I spent the morning getting the um, rooms, the rest of the rooms emptied out. Um, I'll have all of the bedrooms to empty back over once they get the other bedrooms done tomorrow. And then, um, and we're decorating uh, all day. So I'll be back. Uh, one of my um, customers needs her house done for fall and I've not been able to get to her. Uh, let me see if I could tell if this was old or not. Old glass. This was probably the one thing that I'm like, oh, I was torn whether I wanted to get it or not. It was very expensive. A reputable, a very reputable lady. Julie had bought a couple from her earlier that day when we got separated. Well, while I was doing my live. Um, and so Julie took me back to see this one and another one. Um... It's 1848, 1840 watercolor. It's all watercolor, hand done. Um, the only problem with it, and I loved the writing on the back. Uh, and the only problem with it is that it is slid and the hanger is up here. She had $210 on it. Um, again, it's, you know, one of those places that you, you know, you shop for your, yourself um but anyway i think what i'm gonna try and do is heat it and see uh marilyn are you here you got any ideas i was thinking heat the tape without melting it and see if i could get it up loose enough to turn it um i, I tried like while i was there i tried and i'm able to spin the glass uh, I was able to get the glass to go around and around, but I could not get the man to go around and around. So she came down to 175 because he was crooked. Um, she had him easeled this way, which I could easel him this way and put a little bow or something off the side and like a manly looking pen of some sort. But I really want to hang it with my other old ones. So anyway, um, I love him, but... I don't know, but he's a watercolor, which is amazing. In 1840, I mean, come on, think of how old that is. Um, and I, like I said, I know the lady that I got it from is all, everything she has is very, very nice. So um, I'm confident in her, no, her knowledge of it, of things, you know. So, okay, you guys saw this. I told you that I picked up a clock face to put in my decor. I almost bought the other one that she had because I saw another lady that had them. They were only $20. This one was $35. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, okay. I found an old wooden wheel. Awesome for your sh for your backdrop of a shelf so you put this in and then you put your stuff in front and it's just an interesting backdrop like the clock faces and um a lot of other things that i fan blades are great for that as well and i picked this off the top of my head Hi, you guys. oh you're still here i just happened to look up 194 years old is that right see i didn't even do the math but yeah it's amazing uh, and it's written right on it. It's got the date right on it. Of course, someone could have done it. Yes, I know that, but I don't. Not with her. Not with her. She's got, like I said, great stuff. So, okay. This, I'm going to show you these. I'm not sure the little container I was hoping to find is exactly the right one, but it'll give you the idea. Um, I better keep that out because I'm going to want to mark them. 
the black was more. Okay. These were $5 and $7, and I don't know how much the other pair was. I don't think they're marked. They're right there. Okay. They're not marked, but they, weren't, they wouldn't have been more than this. I wouldn't have paid a whole lot. Okay. I'm going to keep... Well, it's on the bag. Okay, I don't need that. All right. So, you know my big... Um, um, Emily at my weathered home calls it her scissor bouquet. And um, you guys know my scissor bouquet, right? Um, some of you, I'm sure, do. I saw these tiny scissors in one of the booths. Um, and I thought they were beautiful. And then they had this really neat um, pair that I thought, I loved the handle. I thought the handle was a little unusual. Um, I don't think that they are... Um, forged, hand forged, but it's possible. I don't know. Um, they kind of have that look. I don't know about these. I have two pair of hand forged scissors and I absolutely love them. Uh, and again, this pair was really cool. So I bought three pair. Um, these, I think these might've been grooming scissors, um, like for, for your fingernails or something. I don't know, but I thought they were cool. And so they won't go in this jar, but just to give you an idea of what a scissor bouquet might look like, um, there you go. So just a little bouquet of scissors in a container. They're not bad in there. They're not bad. But um, if you have old scissors, get them out and put them in a container and um, it'll look super interesting. So I think it's a really cool look and I will do, I will do another tour of the house. It'll be a, give me a little bit because I have so much happening right now. Oh, and I found one Santa mug. You know, I love the Santa mugs. There was another one, um, Julie got it. Um, but I love the little ones. So I got another little one and he was only $5. So I love the Santa mugs. He's old for sure, he's worn. Um, but I love them. So I love that, happy, happy, happy with that. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. I can tell by feeling it. This might be weird. It was at Twig. That store I told you that I like so much, the one. It was Twig. It was $12. I love it. And when I went up to pay for it, she's like, oh my God, I love that. <laughs> but here, it's $12 from Twig. There it says Twig. 12, it's backwards. But anyway, it's a letter opener but I loved all of the carvings on it. And I thought it would just be pretty. It's got that bronzy, brassy color. And I thought it would just look good laying in one of my, you know, display cabinets. So I grabbed that because I don't have anything like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, those are books. Okay. I, I know what's in here. You guys are going to like this for sure. $46. Oh, I got all these buttons. They were $46, but you might want to screenshot it and really look at it, but they're beautiful. Um, oh, it was half off. Even better. I forgot. Yes, I know exactly the, she, the whole all day long. So there's this really sweet old lady that has her Christmas booth, and she's always got awesome stuff we always buy from her. Um, and she has other things, but, um, anyway, she's over here and then there's this lady and she's very nice, but all day long, she says, everything's half price people. Everything's half price. Clear to the back, even outside. Everything's half price. <laughs> Take half off. Like all day long is what she says all day long. Bless her heart. But, oh my gosh, I don't think I could be her neighbor because I think two days of listening to that would drive me absolutely up a wall. <laughs> but it's always been that way every year when we go and that lady never asks to move and this other lady is always saying everything's half price and I thought you know first I thought maybe she should just make everything half price right and then she doesn't have to say that all day long but I think we're all so used to everything being half price there that even if she would have made this be $23 I would think that's too much <laughs> Like it should be half price, right? So she kind of has to keep doing it because we're so used to her being half price. I don't think she could change. If she moved and dropped her prices and went to a different location, I think she could 
get away with it. But, you know, when you're where you are, we look for certain people at certain places. And when pe then when they get moved around, um, like that expensive guy that we love so much, he is never in the same place. It is always a mission to find him um, because his stuff is so amazing. But it, it's, yeah, but they moved the lace lady and we didn't see her until the second day or I think it was the second day. It was either the towards the end of the first day or the second day that we found her. And we were so, I said, you, she's always been in the same place. And she said, well, they moved me this year. I'm not sure why. And she said, I really didn't want to be moved. But anyway, so check those out. They're all beautiful. They are all absolutely beautiful. So happy to have those to add to my craft box. Um, okay. So, oh, this is a snack bar. <laughs> I didn't eat. Um... Oh, love this. It's another one of those little things for me to make an, an arrangement on. Um, but I love when they have the hardware attached. And look how brassy, look how pretty. So that'll be a fun project for us. I did pick up a few projects for us. I'm running out of room. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I knew I would be, so it's fine. Um, more jewelry. Maybe I should just save the jewelry for another day. Oh, look at this. I loved this. Um, more old crusty earrings. Five dollars. A great little snowman. Fuzzy. Um, a great crusty Santa. He's great. He'll look great for vintage lovers. And then this little snowman. He's going to sit great on a tin. Here, I can see my tin right here. He's going to be awesome. On a tin. I bought the whole box or the whole bag of them just to get this. That's a, it's a candy cane. I might have to take off. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's pretty awesome. But anyway, see how great he's going to be on a tin. I mean, you have to have a little vision. If you followed me, you get it totally. Um, let's see. I got some pearls and I got some pins. The, the old skirt pins and I got three it looks like there's three buckles in there rhinestone buckles more pearls to craft with my pearls were getting a little low a rhinestone thing oh let's see. another little bag of pearls looks like a little pearl bracelet um this is cool oh what's this wait there's something else in here oh a little hand painted button um I have a lot I have a whole collection of hand painted buttons so there's a hand painted button that's all. Okay. These were cool for the handwriting. Uh, but they're rocks. They're it's stone inside, which didn't do anything for me. I'm not after I'm not a um whatever, a rock person. <laughs> whatever they're called. <laughs> not a geologist, but you know they call them something. <laughs> but I loved the writing on the boxes. This one says, um, one of them's from a um a grave site. Yeah. Okay. So this one says formation of a geyser, Yellowstone park. And this one says Helen Hunt's grave, Cheyenne cannon, seven falls, but it is beautifully written on. And I thought how pretty to stack in my displays. Look at that stacker. I think it's an awesome stacker. So I will leave the stones in there because of the weight of them. But I absolutely loved the writing, and I think they're going to look beautiful in my um, my cabinets. So I'll get all this stuff placed, and then I promise you we will do a we'll do a tour again. Um, uh, more of these um, the uh, cash register tags. So I told you I had more, so I picked up a bunch. Kind of pricey, but I did it because everyone was asking for them. Um, and I've had a couple of people message me out of the blue wanting some, and I was able to find some. It was hard to not get them for you guys, so I got them. Um, let's see here. There was one more booth that had some, but they were too expensive. I wasn't getting them. Um, oh, yeah, this was the first guy we met. It was the first time he had been there. And he had these um, really pretty uh, door plates. Really, really pretty. Every one of them was beautiful. Look at this one. 
so I picked them up. They would be great for steampunk. Um, you know, we used to do that sometimes here, but but in a Victorian way, not in a steampunky uh, gears and hardware, but in a pretty, pretty way. Um, love, 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 love that one and that one. So, yeah. He's like, you want them all? I'm like, yes, I want them all. <laughs> because they were all so pretty. A lot of times they're not this pretty. So, anyway, there you go. I'm okay. I am really, really running out of room. Um, okay, what's in here? Did I already do that? Oh, no, that's, I didn't do this one yet. Oh, I forgot about this, you guys. Okay, so this isn't what I was excited about. But I saw this little thing for um, a little decorate, a little project. It was only two dollars but i thought it was cute and i loved this spoon it was nine dollars and they would not come down but i loved the advertising on it so i'll put it in one of my little um like something with beans in it or something with little buttons or something like that but you can see the writing on it i don't know what it let's see what it says i don't care what it says edwards in uh india and india and c-e-y-l-o-n t's one level spoon makes two cups. So it's a tea, like a hot tea. Love, love that. Okay, here's what I was excited about. These are little numbers that hang over your shelf. Um, we'll probably have to bend them back to make them like, because they're angled, they're a little bit angled. But I picked up a whole pile. And again, I said, how much for all? I want them all. So she made me a little bit of a deal because I got a whole bunch. So I'm going to be sharing those with you guys as well. Whoop, whoop. I got, I did good for you guys, right? I feel like I did really good for you guys. Um, let's see, is that it in the bag? Okay, that's it in the big bag. So now I just have books. So if you want to see, I think, let's see what's this. I got something else in the top here. I don't know what that is. Oh, another little boy. I threw out of that. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So, uh, there's a little story about this too. And again, she put the price tag on the front. It was $10. She marked it down to three. Well, I'll let you see. She marked it down to $3 because it had a bad spot right here. And it feels like a celluloid sort of with a velvet back. And it does stand up. And as I was walking by the sweet lady's booth in one of the buildings, we were cooling off, I heard... I kind of heard a little banter going on and the, not, not really, but kind of, um, the lady said, well, you know, it, th this lady wanted to get a, get a dollar. She wanted a dollar. And the other lady that was selling it said, no, she said it was $10 and I marked it down to three because it had that spot, which absolutely did not bother her at all. And she said, I think $3 is a fair price. I don't want to come down. So that lady was kind of mad about it. And so I walked into the booth and she started to set it down. And I said, oh, could I see that? And I picked it up and I said, I'll take it. <laughs> so, and that other lady wasn't out of the booth yet. And she's like, thank you. And so then we struck up a big conversation and she was fantastic. And then she was like, I probably shouldn't have been that way. But she said, $3. And, and she said, I just think it's fantastic. And I said, I do too. And I picture it as one of my... Um, a surface for one of my collage things. Um, but she's pretty as it is. So I told Julia, I'm going to feel bad to cover her. But um, yeah, but with that three, I, I was given that poor little girl $3, whether it was worth $3 or not, just because she was feeling so bad for not coming down to a dollar. But at the same time, this is worth more than a dollar to me. I think it's awesome. So I think $3 was a steal. I think $10 was very fair, but I only gave her three. <laughs> so, and she was happy to take it. <laughs> so that is a project. I guess I got some more projecty stuff than I realized I got. Um, oh, and then the, the lady gave me some more. Um, she said, well, if you're taking all of those numbers, I don't need to hold on to these. Um, because these were just extras and I thought, oh, how cool to put in our books. So I was super pumped about that. Okay. All right. This I bought at Twig. Um, I, those were the only two things I bought at Twig. 
um, whatever. I, oh, this letter, this letter opener and this book. It was up by the cash register. It was twice this thick. It's German and it's awesome. Um, it's awesome. Old. It was $40. And in the hotel, I told you we carried everything in from the car because we didn't want anybody to break in and get all of our stuff. That's why it's in those big carrying bags. Because we took it. So I thought, what if someone would break in and take everything that we worked so hard for? We'll worry about it every year. And um, this year was just a little extra with all the Springfield stuff going on. But everything was fine. Nothing happened. We didn't see anything that we wouldn't have seen any other time. So anyway, in the room, we did a little show and tell because we went to the room at like six o'clock and, you know, we didn't, neither one of us were hungry. Um, I got kettle, kettle chips, um, you know, just regular potato chips, kettle roasted, whatever. And she got Funyuns. And I said, this is perfect. It's like chip dip. <laughs> so we have a chip and a Funyun for a, like a chip dip. <laughs> and that was our dinner. And we got some wine and um, we did a show and tell with all of our stuff. So I gave her half of, well, she bought half of my book from me. So she took the other half. So I've got $20 in this and she's got $20 in hers. And um, we got this beautiful German book to craft with. It was already split in half. So we didn't half it. Um, it was already in half or I wouldn't have done that. But anyway, fun little stories, it's fun little stories, remembering things. So you guys are still here. The same people. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Awesome. Awesome. Music book. I got two. look at the, Julie was like, how would she could play kind of the piano? She's always like, I can't play very well, but she was like trying to read. She's like, look at that. There's like six sharps right off the bat. Like, she's like, I don't even know how you would play that. But I thought that it was absolutely beautiful pages. Um, the lady was selling them a dollar a page, and she sold me the whole book. So, but look at this. I mean, it's a lot. It's, I want to say it's everything, but I can't say everything's everything. <laughs> everything's everything. What does that even mean? I don't know. I loved these two friends. Um... I love the friends. It could be sisters, but I'm going to call them friends. Um, oh, oops, there's something here. What's this? Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Oh, I know what it is. It's a fishing bobber. <laughs> wait. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, so those of you that follow me for any length of time know that I have my basement is fishing stuff. And I loved how the string and the sinker and the hook was all wound around this bobber. And um, so I got it just to lay in with my fishing stuff. So that was the only two things I got was that real heavy brass reel. And <laughs> if you saw my fishing stuff, though, you would get it. I promise. <laughs> I promise. I know it seems like such a dumb thing, but you just have to trust me, right? You don't even know me, most of you, but you have to trust me. It's going to look fabulous. Uh, Little Bright Eyes is an old book that I bought. Um, I actually took this in the hotel room. I didn't even remember buying it. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> Where did I get this? It was $26. Don't even remember buying it until I opened it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember buying it. All of the pages are no color. And they're all fantastic uh, images and black and white. So, again, my color. There's the alphabet. Look, how cool is that? Um, I was thinking for my girls doing journaling. Um, I still have time to do the C for Cheryl, or I could do the P for Parrish. Uh, anyway, loved, loved the whole alphabet, like, all the way through. And, yeah, after I opened it, because I thought, I don't remember buying Why would I buy a kid's book? And I thought, I hope I didn't pick up, like, the wrong book or something. And then I opened it up, and it's fantastic. So, anyway, love the book. Absolutely love it. So that'll be a fun book. Um, I'm a Guffy reader. It was really cheap, and I loved the first page had the, um, the writing. Again, if you follow me, you get it. Um, and then I love the big words for finding Michelle at the Vintage Daisy calls them secret messages. But you can find um, like, um, like, uh, let's see, let's see if I can find something sweet. Um, 
flap your wings, jump, I'm flapping my wings, chippy. There's the word chippy. I guess we could use that word. Uh, let's see. Like you, sometimes you can find the word wish or um, come here, Rose, look down. Eh, maybe not so secret message. Uh, let's see. It's evening. John who sits in the front seat. Some pretty shell. So there's the word pretty. Um, if I were a bird, her nest would be her home. If she were a bird, her nest would be her home. But what would mother do, I wonder, without her little fanny? <laughs> no. Um, little girl went and searched. There's the word flowers. There's the word sweet. Um, there's the word darling. Um, there's the word love. So that was a good page. Um, but then again, there's that handwriting look. So even, just to give you an idea um, what what I look for when I'm looking at my books and things. Um, a cute little tiny book. This is called Poetry of Love. And it's just tiny. And inside is all little poems. So I thought it was very sweet. And so that'll be a great one to take apart um, if I dare. I know sometimes they lay in my drawer for years because I can't take them apart. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. Um, unfading beauty. He has loved a rosy cheek or a coral lip admired or for, or from the star-like eyes doth seek fuel to maintain his fires. As old time makes these decay, so his flame must waste away. But a smooth and steadfast mind, gentle thoughts and calm desires, hearts with equal love combined, uh, kindle never dying fires. Where these are not, I despise lovely cheeks or lips or eyes. Thomas Carew. Yeah, whatever. It's just cute. It's just really cute. Poetry of love, it says. Let's see the date, if there's a date. 1844. Woo! Nice. Yay! Good find. Um, hi, everybody. Let's see what's this one. 1849. Just really loved... Oh, yeah, in the, in the pictures. Okay, let me... Let me stand up and show you this. I've got, what, one, two, three more things to show you, and then we're all done. Oh, I might have something here. Uh, okay. So this one is 1849, and I love the spots and stains on the book that are naturally there. But this one had some really great, like really great prints inside. And to see them in person, like look at the words at the bottom. They're just very beautiful. Um, and there's a lot of them in here. Um, a lot of prints. Let's see, it's hard to flip. But they were very, very nice. There's another, and they all have the writing at the bottom. Um, and then, what else was in this book that was so awesome? I can't even remember. Oh, well, the onion paper, of course, is very cool. Look at this, how it's tried to protect the pictures. Um, it's very cool as well. Um, there was something in here. Oh, here. This was a, we were laughing about this. It's someone's interest income. They earned $101 interest. Um, gosh, his, his social security number is on there from 1984 from the credit union. I'm nervous about that. I know that might be weird, but we don't want anybody to do anything with that. Um, let's see. What is this? The law may discover our ruin, but cannot provide the remedy. Jesus alone can do that. Those who are mostly holy are mostly lovely, for the beauty of the Lord is his holiness. Um, I love that when you find little things that people liked and um, save. There was a piece in here, a piece of paper we found with some pretty writing on it. Um, oh, I think she put it towards the front. There it is. I remember now. Look at that. It was tucked in there pretty is that it says margaret lyle oh it's it says four inches 18 pounds five as 25 dollars i don't know i can't make it out but it's very pretty anyway that was tucked in here too so that's a nice little find okay so there's that book and then i found a couple of frames Oh, and a few keys, not very many, but a few keys. 
There were lots of keys, but they're all $3, exactly what I sell them for. And I still have a ton of keys, so I didn't need any more. So I didn't buy any more. But I did find these were $2 a piece. Um, and they're little, so I always like to keep the little ones for my crafting. I've sold some, but I think I'm about sold out now of the little ones. And I was just thinking, I wonder if I could put that guy in this frame. Um, it's an old, I love the frame. It's an old, it was only $8. There's no back, but I could have my local guy, um, Mike at Flames and Frames, do it for me. Uh, I am I think that's going to fit it, actually. And then I bought this little frame. It was $16. But I loved that, too, for a project. Even if I put that on, um, on a surface, on something. Like, here, let's just pretend that I'm doing this square and going to frame it out. Like, I could frame something, probably one of my lady pictures or flower pictures or something, and then use this frame for a little dimension in a project. So that was good. And then this is another um, beautiful, beautiful music book. And it's got, like, the words are all handwritten. Not handwritten, but cursive. Cursive. Um, I've never seen a book like that. So I love the two, I love the two music books that I found. And it's the only reason I bought them because I have a ton of music books. Um, you guys get lots of pages of them in my paper packs on my website, but um, these are extra, extra nice. So there we go. Woo! <laughs> Let's see. You want to see my mess? Look. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I love you around. <laughs> That's where I was sitting. <laughs> So this is where I was sitting. Look at this mess. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These were, I was at a yard sale and I bought a whole pile of pictures. And then this is the stuff I brought home from doing Cheryl's um, live. So, and then I have my cart and I have my doilies there. So while I have you here though, hang on. Um, oh, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Is everybody still here? Yeah, some have gone, but so this is the black and white cabinet that I talk about all the time. Um, and look, so see, my things are going to look really great in there. I think the bigger clock face will be fantastic in there um, to take up like a little bit bigger space. And then, oh, I know what else I wanted to show you, the white pitcher. So here's my kitchen table and see the white pitcher. And so I think the little white pitcher sitting beside of it in this grouping would be nice. Um, these are probably past fall, but yeah, I left them in. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that, I think the little white pitcher might be cute with, I don't know. And then I know what else I wanted to show you was my, um, my scissor bouquet right here. There's my scissor bouquet. So see, you can tell those were hand forged. And then there's another pair back here that are hand forged. Um, someone's made them. So I thought those were really cool. Oh no, it was this one. I'm sorry, it's this one right here. I pulled the wrong pair. Um, oh, you can't see, I'm sorry. Uh, there you go. So very cool. So I love, like I wish I had more, uh, like eventually I'll just have all hand forged, but that was the most beautiful um, one. What else do I have to show you? I think there's some, some of my uh, cash register tags that I have and then, um, I have more in my kitchen. Of course, my house is not my dishes for breakfast. Uh, there's another little pile. Of course, I got my TJ Maxx cupcake toppers for my <laughs> grandbaby. And this won't come over a little bit more, I guess. Anyway, oh well, this is life. <laughs> so, here's my butter. My sugar's crooked. <laughs> there's a tin. Here's a tin that we did. Just for those that were like, I don't get it. Yeah. There's a decorated tin for you. I think I've got, yeah, nope, I don't have, I pulled the other one to sell. Um, I don't have another one. So anyway, um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, how often do I dust what? That cabinet? Never. Because <laughs> it's got a glass, it's got a glass case. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. No, I truly, maybe once a year, not very often. Because it is covered in, it is glass inside. Um, there. So see, I have all of these letters in the bottom. But not, yeah, see there, I don't dust very often with the flashlight, with the spotlight in there. Well, it doesn't really, nothing really came up. Yeah, see? 
It's fine. There's, you can't even see where my finger swiped. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to fill the inside of this with boggle letters. So see, I have quite a few. I guess most of them are underneath these things, but anyway, and then like my little spoon, it's going to be perfect right here in this little thing and I'll lay it this way and it's, it'll be perfect. And so I'll fill in my boggle letters, my, you know, with whatever I, with whatever I can. So there's that. And then I mentioned my, um, my mantle. Let's just do it in case I don't get back to do it. And then I'll change the title of this to, um, I'll change the title of this and add that it's a little tour of my mantle for fall. So there you go. There you go. Let me get back farther. And so the, but okay. Oh gosh, I got so many things I could tell you guys about. Um, it's exciting, right? So there's this, so I've done still shots of this and posted them for you guys, but there's some, a couple of pumpkins that I made just with some books that I have, um, covered. They were sad and I saved them and covered them. Um, let's see more button garlands, different ways of doing your button garlands. I showed you the other, uh, okay. So then up here, I have the little pumpkins. Uh, all of this greenery is on my website. Because um, so I used to do a Walk My Website Wednesdays, and I'm, I'm set up to do it again. I just am so busy. We're back to work painting full time and, and trying to do this. And my daughter is wanting me to do makeup videos. And so I, I bought, I, today I spent the day putting together my new makeup table. It came and Randy went golfing. So <laughs> I spent the day, it took me four and a half hours to put it together and I did it all by myself. And I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so, okay, here's my Buckeye Lake stuff I was talking about that I already have. My flashlight's on my phone. I don't know how to make it not be. Um, but it says Buckeye Lake right, I don't know if it's backwards or not, but right there, um, and then it's just the water, you know, and that, and then I found an old leather Buckeye Lake banner, which I thought was super cool, because it's leather, and then this is the ferry boat that used to be at Buckeye Lake, and the train trolley that went from Columbus, Ohio to Buckeye Lake because there used to be a big amusement park there. And so this was people waiting to get on the trolley or I don't know what, I don't know their story. Um, it looks like a group, like a club or something like that, but they're, they're posing in front of the trolley and then there's the old ferry boat. So on from Buckeye Lake. So I thought those were really cool. And I was hoping in my mind, I was hoping this, that yard long that I bought would fit sorry, like underneath here, but my TV is here. So it's way, oh, my phone has its light on for some, sometimes it does that. Anyway, it's too, I, I feel like if I put the, push that up to make room, it's just too much. So I have this empty wall. So I'm probably going to, I mean, it's Millie's wall. <laughs> it's all Millie's stuff. My house isn't perfect <laughs> by any means. So Millie's little area. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd do the yard long right there if it's not too long. Hi, and Randy's home. So how perfect is that? So, okay, you guys, Randy's home. So we will, we can continue and do more. I will show you all of the jewelry later. That'll be a great, another video. Um, they got some really great jewelry and buttons that I can share with you too. So we'll do that again um, later. So thanks for joining me. It was a fun day. Uh, it's in Ohio. Uh, it's in Ohio, in Thornville, Ohio, and Buckeye Lake, Ohio. Um, it kind of spans across like two towns, Millersport. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, because I could show you my silhouettes that I bought from other people. Like here's one. It's my, you know, heating whatever. But I have her and then um, an oil painting of a lake. And then I have these three. But the black frame, I don't know about the black frame, but, you know, there is black in them. I don't know. I may have to incorporate a couple black frames. Um, but I do have ladies in black frames, so I might be able to put him over here. Let's look real quick. Oh, Randy's mustard. He's got his hot mustard out. There's my ladies. So, 
I don't know. That might be weird to put a man with the ladies. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. Um, I'm wishy-washy about him because he's crooked. I, I paid way too much. I shouldn't have got him. I just got caught up in it all. Sometimes you just get caught up in it. So if there was any one thing, that's probably the one thing because I found this yard long of Buckeye Lake later and I like it better and it was cheaper. <laughs> so, oh well, that's the pains of, of antique shopping. So you guys, thanks for joining me. It was super fun. Nice to see everybody. I will look at all of your comments uh, at bedtime. I can show you, I did put together my makeup table um, whoops, so I'll be able to get ready to do videos with you guys. This is the side of it. It's it's low, but it'll make sense when it's all together. So this is the side, and then this is the top. There'll be glass, and it stands up. It's got legs back here. I'm getting ready for my sale. So I have all my, I started some stuff back here. But anyway, it's got two legs, and it that will go here, and it's table height, and then the mirror goes up here, and it's lighted. I think it's going to be an awesome table. I got it off of Amazon. And um, if I love it, once I get it all set up upstairs, I'll show you. But I can't. They're putting in new flooring tomorrow upstairs. So um, I don't want to bring any furniture up there because I just have to push it around. So I left it down here apart. And it's super heavy. So um, I thought it will be easier to carry up in two pieces. So anyway, that's what I did today. So makeup videos coming soon. Abby's super excited. She's like, Mom, you've got to do it. So she's very encouraging and pushing. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. Here's the one thing I wanted to show you. Hang on. I got to show you one more thing. If you're still here. This was the one thing I was all excited to show you. And then I've got to show you. So anybody who likes to sew, I got a great idea for you. This, I had a great idea. I spied it in that, my favorite Victorian ladies booth. She took an old white tape measure, cloth tape measure. And look, put fabric on the back. Um, it's sewn. She sewed it down. And then she made a little snap, a little snap closure. So when you pull it, or roll it, not pull it, but when you roll it, it'll go through here. and snap like that and then I can just hang it on a little hook right here at my table and I'll always have a, a measure I mean I have this big clunky tape measure but this will be so much prettier actually I could just hang it on that nail right there ha <laughs> ha yay <laughs> so I had a plan and it worked so yeah um anyway I have that I thought that was great for any of you guys that like to sew I don't like to sew but um yeah, I thought that was cool. So I grabbed that, I, was maybe $8, I can't remember, $6 maybe, I don't know, I don't remember. But anyway, I got quite a mess here to clean up, so I will let you guys go. I was hoping some things came in that I had ordered for uh, the round piece of wood project so I could go in my group, the girls in the group. I have not been in all month because I've not been here. Um, I've been in California, I've been painting uh, a huge new job and then I was in Kelly's Island on vacation. So you girls at my group, I swear to you, I will be back. I will get all three of your videos in. I'm waiting for some things to come in um, because I have some ideas and then I have some stuff here that I bought. So we're gonna have plenty of projects for our group for the month. Um, I promise, and I have a sale as soon as I can. Just know I've got to tear up the other rooms of my house as soon as they get these rooms done. Um, they're doing the master, master closet, hallway, master bath, and guest bath, and stairwell, I think, tomorrow. I don't know how many days it'll take them. So I'm planning tomorrow night to move everything out of the other rooms and the stuff back and emptying the other three bedrooms, which are full. <laughs> because <laughs> one's my, like my website room and um, my uh, I have all my paper plate projects laid out and that room won't be so bad except it's Abby's closet and she wasn't able to take a lot of her stuff to California so it, it, her whole closet everything in the floor like everything got shoved in her closet so there's no sign of Abby until you open the closet door so I have to move all of that out and then the um, back bedroom is full of like blankets and bedding and oh, I just can't even think about it 
can't even think about it. So my tomorrow night could be swapping out rooms unless it takes them two days. I don't know how long it takes to tear up flooring. I have linoleum in the two bathrooms and then carpeting. And um, I don't know how long it'll take them, but Julie thinks they'll be fast. So I'm like, okay, well maybe tomorrow night when I get home from work, I'll have to move the, those rooms back to prepare the other two rooms but maybe I'll get an extra night. But if it falls on Tuesday night, that's craft night with Julie and I don't want to lose that night. But I will if I have to. Oh, so much. So my life is so overwhelming, you guys. So I hope you're all good and follow me and all of that and keep up with me because there's always something happening. But I'm going to work on putting some of this stuff away. I'll pull some of the sales or all of the sales stuff over into the other room. Um... Yeah, I'm going to work on emptying this table out. This is my next project. So, and then hopefully tomorrow what I need to come is some molds. I need them to come for that board. You're going to love it. I know you girls are going to love it. I can't tell you enough. I think it's going to be my favorite project ever. And I'm anxious to find what I did with that man to see if he's going to fit in here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Because I love that frame. I think that's awesome frame. Even though it's gold, I wish it were black or wood girl that's gold maybe I'll put him with her hmm. I don't know I'll figure it out I'll let you know so I'll see you guys later thanks for joining me I gotta get to work Randy will walk in here and fall over so we don't want that to happen <laughs> have a great night you guys thank you for joining me so many of you are still here bless your hearts I just love you all we'll see you later bye-bye